r slash ask reddit what's the dumbest thing you got in trouble for in school in second grade a boy who didn't like me told the teacher that i was taking rocks out my pockets and throwing them at him during recess i get brought to the principal's office and told to apologize to him where i started crying and showed them i didn't even have pockets i was wearing leggings i still had to apologize that's dumb so ducking dumb same kid later found out I got a Sega for Christmas and pretended to be my friend so he could come over and play Sonic and not talk to me the whole time he was at my house. Luke, I still remember how shitty you were. Having to apologize for something you never did was the worst and most annoying thing as a kid. It my friend has diabetes and when we were in school I sat next to him in class. He told me his blood sugar was really low and he felt faint. He didn't want to leave class so I offered to give him my banana. So I gave it to him and the teacher scolded me for taking out food in class. She sent me to the principal's office even after I told her the reason for it. The principal teacher just didn't care. And told me just chill here until the bell rings lol. I'll never know why Mrs. Henderson was so angry. You're an awesome friend. The teacher is just blatantly ignorant. I also have diabetes so this warms my heart but pisses me off at the same time lmao. I remember being so frustrated but I saved him from getting ill in that moment and bought him some time to get proper food etc so it was worth it. In grade 12, a classmate was eating a banana in class. Technically not allowed, but no big deal. Teacher stops class, calls his dad from the in-class phone. I don't know how she had the number memorized. And we all got to enjoy half a conversation that went like, Number, number, I'm not going to apologize. It's a banana. My teacher sent me to the principal's office for saying shit. I was trying to say sit. I had a speech impediment. Damn that sucks. Damn that shucks. I asked how bananas reproduce. My teacher didn't find it appropriate. It was in biology class. Once it's all done the bananas split. I got in trouble for saying out loud that I didn't like someone. Her friend overheard. Told her. Told our teacher. And for the next 3 days we all had to spend our recess talking about why I didn't like that person. Because she makes a big deal out of silly things like this that cause everyone to miss out on recess. Also, people are allowed to not like other people. It happens. If you're not being mean about it I don't understand why it's a problem. Wearing shoes without laces. They were closed toe but apparently they must also lace. I got sent home for not having laces. I called this kid a trapezoid in second grade. He was very upset and got me in trouble. This might be common, but my high school had a very odd attendance policy. If you were late to school three times, you would immediately get detention. I had detention once because of this, and I decided it wasn't for me. So anytime I knew I was going to be late, I'd just skip. If you missed enough, they'd put you on a medical watch sort of thing that would require a doctor's excuse. But you had to miss a lot of school for that to happen. So senior year I spent a lot of days hanging out at home or at my friends playing Mario Kart. Because the school rewarded absenteeism over tardiness. Mine has the same policy. I told this before. High school late 90s. We just got the internet. This was the early days of the internet where any random or innocent search could still bring up porn. Well, it happened to me. Our history class had the computer lab. Porn came up on my screen, immediately sent to the office. They did not believe me that it was an accident, but I'd never been in trouble before. I was suspended the rest of the day, I just went home. Then it started happening to other students' teachers. Then they finally put filters on the computers, but I was never apologized to. Duckandwhitehouse.com would get kids every time. I've wondered how many kids got in trouble for non-porn searches that bring up porn. That's like getting in trouble as a kid if you watch the Disney Channel and porn shows up due to a technical glitch. Literally looking at someone. Apparently it was aggressive. Did you go to school in prison? Well, I mean he did go to school. Both schools and prisons have pretty much the same architecture. The main difference is the aesthetics. Yeah prison has guards to prevent a shootout. My school had two guys protecting it in front of the main entrance. One had a revolver and an American flag bandana and the other had a sleeveless shirt and a samurai sword. They made sure no school shooting gibberonies ever got through. 
given an after school detention for whistling. I can't whistle. Well I can see why. You can't whistle and that sound made was atrocious. Detention. I walked into the showers in the locker room before gym class. Fully clothed with shoes on and everything I had just never seen that area before. Showers weren't running. That's literally it. Got yelled at and got detention for it because apparently we weren't supposed to be in there. This happened at my school too. A couple of kids would stand by the showers after they changed cause the room was so crowded. They were given 50% for the marking period and they put a fence up and chained it shut. Cause it's so smart to force a bunch of sweaty little teenagers to stand on top of each other when we only have 3 minutes to change clean up before the bell. What a creep. I was kicked out of my geometry class and was given a referral that said do not return to class until a parent teacher conference is scheduled. This all happened because I had the wrong size paper. This teacher wanted everyone to have 8.5 x 11 inches and I had 8 x 10.5 inches. I kept getting 50% credit on every assignment because I had the wrong size paper. I finally told her I'm not buying all new paper because you want to be special. I was sitting on a big trash can and the principal walked up and told me to get down. I did. Then he asked, do you sit on furniture at your house? I looked at him kind of puzzled and said yes. He gave me detention for answering a question about sitting on furniture at my house. I also got it one time before class straighted I was sitting on the table the teacher when he sees me he starts yelling do you do that at home? I said yes since I always do that either sitting on the kitchen counter, the desk, the table, etc. Our school had this stupid rule where you weren't allowed to go to the bathroom during the last 5 minutes of class. Lo and behold, we're 5 minutes away from the bell when I suddenly break out in cold sweats and I get that dreadful rumble in my guts. It's explosive diarrhea time. I asked to go to the toilet. Denied. I just yelled emergency and ran out of class. I got to the loo. Did the patented move of rolling my pants down transition into sitting down before losing 5 pounds in 15 seconds using this one simple trick. Doctors hate this guy. After cleaning up, I went back to collect my stuff from the classroom and to apologize to my teacher. But she had already written me up for it. Now. What makes this even stupider is that in my country, we start school at 7. We do 4 years of elementary school, 3 years of primary school, and 5 years of high school. This happened in my senior year. I was 19 years old. I was, by legal definition, a grown man. I wasn't going to shit my pants because of a stupid 5 minute rule. Should have shit your pants. I get it, you're not going to shit your pants in class, but you should have shit your pants. I regret it in hindsight, stinking up a classroom for the next 3 blocks of classes would have established my dominance over her by leaving my biological marker in the enemy's territory. You should have yelled emergency, took your pants off, and then shit on her floor. Got yelled at during a physics class because I was the first to stand up to go start the lab we were doing. 7-8 other kids were midway through a standing up but because I was the first I had to get yelled at for 5 minutes in front of everyone. I get paid by the hour. The slower the better it. Two stories. This was actually my friend. In 6th grade I was on crutches and needed to use the elevator to get between floors. The rule was that only one person can go in the elevator with the person on crutches. Two of my friends and I were walking to the elevator when my teacher was walking the other way. He said remember, only one of you two can go with him. My other friend looked at the teacher then jumped into the elevator. As the doors opened on the bottom floor, the teacher was standing there and took him to his office and gave him a detention. Story 2. In 5th grade my friend took a pen from my desk. So I asked him can I have my pen back and my teacher went ballistic. Why are you talking in class? Oh. I was just asking for my pen back no you weren't, you were talking my friend, no, really I took his pen and he asked for it back, that night my parents got an email saying that they needed to come in for a parent teacher conference specifically about this incident, I had no previous incidents so when the teacher told them this they said how outrageous it was and I got off without punishment, she's still my number one least favorite teacher all time, whack. Your 5th grade teacher is out of her mind. 
reading a book. I would finish my work in class and pull out a book to read and be told to put it away and lay my head down if I'm done. They would have rather me just lay my head down and stare at a wall than continue to learn through reading. A runner up. My homework slipped off my desk and got sucked into one of those stupid huge air conditioner units. The teacher didn't believe me so I had to stick my hand up the vent of this thing and try to fish it out. I have no idea how dangerous this was, but it doesn't seem like a good idea now. I managed to get it and it was torn down the middle with a huge grease stain. He made me stay after class and redo it and I narrowly avoided detention. All because a piece of paper slipped off my desk. A friend of mine got yelled at for reading an English class. She finished a test early, because she is brilliant, and pulled out whatever Dostoevsky she was reading for fun. Apparently she was distracting other students. Our nutty teacher was the one distracting us. Wearing colored socks. I got sent to the principal's office where they called my parents and asked them to get me a pair of white socks. Needless to say my parents were both working so I was stuck roaming around the school sockless. Last year in the cafeteria I was lined up to buy pizza and my vice principal was selling it. I gave my money took my pizza and left. Later on in the day I get called into the office and he said he didn't feel respected by me because I never said please or thank you and got a 3 day suspension. If somebody severely punishes me because I didn't say please or thank you, I am less likely to be respectful to said person in the future. Yep, like a forced apology. When I was in primary school, I had really bad social anxiety, so my teacher allocated a small table outside the classroom where I could go if I was having a panic attack. This was somewhat effective until I got a new teacher who would send me out to the table at the slightest provocation, fiddling with my hair. Jogging my leg or smiling when I thought of something funny all got me a trip to the table. She didn't do this to anyone else. They would stand in the corner of the classroom if they got in trouble. She would also write every trip to the table in my diary as a panic attack or poor behavior which meant my anxiety medication dosage was changed. Eventually, the system stopped working altogether. As the table was more of a punishment and being sent to it would worsen any stress I was experiencing. That's horrible. Seems that teacher was bullying you because you were vulnerable. In my forensics class we were looking at hairs under microscopes and discussing their different traits. I raised my hand and asked where the change occurs between stomach hairs and pubes. My teacher flipped out and kicked me out of the class. My response was, what's the answer to the question? He probably didn't know and felt that kicking you from class was better than admitting his shortcomings. Legit question that now I'd like to see answered. My teacher once asked us to write down our favorite thing to do. I wrote sleeping with my mom. This resulted in a beating with my parents. I was in second grade. I obviously just meant cuddling and taking a nap. My mom thought that the teacher was insane. I got into a similar situation with teachers assuming more sinister things than what I meant. First grade we were making mother's day cards. And we had to write something about what my mom does a lot. So I wrote my mom drinks a lot meaning that she drinks a lot of water because she was, at the time, diagnosed with a health issue due to dehydration. Teachers suspended me one day and scolded my mom for misleading and miseducating. I was in the first grade I deck if I knew what alcohol was. Standing up to a bully, came in from recess after he'd pushed, pinched, pulled, laughed at and threatened multiple people. I stood up from my chair, pointed at him and said if you ever touch me again I'll, then turned around to see the teacher watching. I got a spanking. Whoa. When was this cause I'm pretty sure teachers spanking students is illegal. Someone accidentally broke a window. He made no attempt to hide and admitted fault immediately. The whole class got Saturday detention. That's so stupid. Leaving the classroom to pee because the teacher said no. Apparently he knew my body better than I did. Should have peed over the teacher's desk as the ultimate power move. While maintaining eye contact with the teacher. This always blows my mind. I can't eat without drinking a lot along with it. I go through refills at restaurants like it's going out of style and always had to have a couple beverages during school lunch. Then in my next class I'd have to use the restroom and always got the didn't you just have lunch? Why didn't you go then? I did go then. 
because I've refilled my water three times since I got to school this morning and nobody would let me go because lunch was coming up. My favorite teachers were the ones that would treat us like adults and say don't interrupt class, just get up and go. I'm so glad my eyes didn't develop until college. I cannot imagine having to ask permission to go to the bathroom. You've been already yes, I have. That doesn't mean I'm not going to shit myself if I don't get moving now. During PE class in year 5, I said testicles in a childish conversation with two friends. A fellow classmate nearby overheard me saying that and decided to dob me in. Later on, my grumpy bat of a teacher ridiculed me in front of the class. Unsurprising, seeing as we both weren't really fond of each other. Happened in primary school. We were taking a break from our boys dance group and I went into the toilets to take a shit. Went into a cubicle and another boy from the same group was pissing however he felt like I invaded his privacy by walking in on his unlocked cubicle. He was also facing away from me obviously so I saw nothing. He complained and cried to the teacher accusing me of perving and I was told off for sexual harassment. I also didn't get the free ice block that we'd usually get after each practice. To this day I still hate that kid. Yeah he's definitely a donghead for that one. A kid threw a pencil at someone else, missed, and impaled my hand when I went to block my face. Teacher saw the pencil sticking out of my hand and gave me detention for fighting. I still have a small graphite chunk in my finger that you can see with a flashlight. Different teacher told us to get parent permission forms signed to watch a movie. She lost mine, blamed me, and made me have detention for the day while the class watched the movie. She found it at the end of the year behind a filing cabinet I couldn't possibly reach. Blamed me for putting it there. I have tons of stories like these. Bad teachers. Different schools. Most should have been fired but they had tenure colon. When I was in grade 3 a friend of mine got bullied by people I knew from daycare. They cut her hair, her belt and just continuously called her names. By the end of recess she was in tears doing brought her to the office. At that point the principal pinned the whole damn thing on me because apparently they took my scissors to do this to her. The school got everyone side and none of them even included my name. At one point the principal even asked me so what role did you play in this to which I responded nothing. I had literally just walked her to the office to get her help. They wound up calling my mom anyway and telling her I was the ringleader of this whole event and made me sit in the office all afternoon until 4pm at which point my daycare supervisor got me and gave me a hug. I spent the rest of the night in tears and nearly wound up grounded. Apparently my mom started out extremely pissed at me until her friends and my daycare supervisor told her to ask me my side first because that would be completely out of character for me. Always had trouble trusting the school system after that. A friend of mine once got a note for his parents to sign that said, Mike is stretching his nostrils with the tip of a scissor during class. He had put a tip of the scissor in each nostril and carefully opened the scissors so that his nostrils stretched. The teacher understood the ridiculousness of the note, but made it anyway because having the parents read about such ridiculous behavior from their son was the best way to make him see that he was an idiot. Going to the bathroom during lunch. This happened to me but one kid in my class got a detention for smiling. I used to draw 80s metal band names on my binder in middle school Metallica, Def Leppard, Guns N' Roses and I got reported by another student that I worship Satan because of this. Got called into the VP's office, binder confiscated, was told never to draw band names like that again. There was a period of time at my high school where we couldn't wear band shirts because of supposed gang activity. There'd be kids walking around in full blue red throwing up gang signs and threatening people but sure. Me and the rest of the arctic monkeys are about to throw down and cause a ruckus. My bus driver only drove us half the way to school. Despite me paying a full fare. Whilst he was upstairs evicting everyone from the bus I took my money back from his cash register. Not only did I get in trouble with the school I received a police caution. I call it dumb because it was pretty ducking stupid of me. Cousin forgot to say thank you to a classmate. Using a swear word after failing an exam. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.